Hello friends, Satyendra here and in today's video let's discuss about drawing layer management to control the individual view items and to control the cosmetic sketch. Other than this we will see some tips to get back the missing views back to our active layer object selection drop down list. So let's get started. So first let's understand the concept of drawing layers and then we will understand the layer management. And for that I will just switch on my default datums. Now to understand drawing layers go to layer tree and the moment you click layer tree you get some default layers here. So these are the default layers taken from the parts and if you open the part you will see the similar layers available here and the same layer you see in your drawing. So these are the drawing layers taken from the part. So whenever you create a new layer in your part, it get reflected in your drawing. For example, I will create one layer here. I will say layer 1, say ok. So this is the new layer I have created in my part and if I go to my drawing, I will see the same layer reflecting here. So whichever layer you have created in your part that will automatically reflect in your drawing. And these layer can be used to control the visibility of different entities either directly from your part or directly from the drawing. Now this is the layer I have created in the part and if I try to delete this layer I don't get this option highlighted here. This is because this is the layer created in the part and now we are into the drawing. So to delete any layer from the part, first you need to move to the part. Now here you can select this layer and delete this layer. So once you have deleted here, the same thing will be reflected in your part layer. So that layer has gone from here. So whenever you add a new layer to your part, that will be automatically added to your drawing. But you can't delete that layer from your drawing because it is a part layer and to delete this layer first you need to go to the part and then you can delete it. Now I am directly going to the drawing. So these are my drawing layers taken from the part. Now if I create any new layer in my drawing then what will happen? Let's find out. Create a new layer, name it layer 2 say ok. So this is my new layer, layer 2 and I have created this directly in the drawing. So if I go to my part then what will happen? The layer which was just created in the drawing is missing here. So if you check your part you will not find the drawing layer into your part layer. So here that layer is missing. So now you can understand that if you create any layer in your part that will be automatically taken to your drawing but if you create any layer inside your drawing that layer will be only there for your drawing that will not come to your part. So this was the idea about layer creation. Now the next thing is layer management and there are three different ways to manage the layers inside the drawing but what are the items we can manage through the layers. So some of the items already listed here you can manage default datum planes, curves, points, coordinate system, surfaces. So these are some default items you can manage directly from the part or drawing. Other than this we can manage some drawing items like dimension, symbols, nodes, draft entities and these items requires additional layers created in the drawing. And there are three different ways to manage these layers inside the drawing and the first way is manage your layers directly from the part. And what does that mean? That means if you have done any layer management in your part, something like this, I have made all the layers hidden here. So this management will directly reflect in my drawing. Now you can see that there are no default datums available here and all the layers from your part level is hidden here. So you are controlling these layers directly from your part. Now if I go to the same part again, and if I unhide these layers once again, 
once again you can see these default planes coordinate axis everything available here that means these layers are controlled directly from the part so this was the first way now let's see the second way so suppose you have a part in which you have number of curves and those curves are hidden there in the part but you require those curves in your drawing so in that case if you control your curves through your part layer then those curves will also be hidden in your drawing but our requirement is we need to hide those curves in part level and we need to highlight those curves in the drawing so in that case the second way is helpful so in second way what we do is we first break the link from part layer to the drawing layer and for that we go to setting drawing layer status and here this option no display status of the layer is controlled by the model we change to yes display status of common layer is controlled separately in the drawing and we say okay now in this case if you go to your part and you do any management in your part layer suppose i have made all the layers hidden here this will not reflect into your drawing now you can see that we have made all the layers hidden there but everything is visible here you do whatever layer management you want to do in your part level this will not reflect to your drawing level so in the second method you do all the layer management directly from the drawing so if you hide this everything is gone if you hide this everything is gone and these layers are not dependent on your part layer now you go to your part you unhide everything you are not getting anything here so now the link is broken between part layer and drawing layer so you can control everything from your drawing layer so this was the second way and if you want to relink the drawing layer and part layer then same thing you can do you can go to the setting drawing layer status and you can change it to no so again this drawing layer got linked with your part layer now you can control everything from your part hide it and you can see that everything is reflecting here these layers are hidden here except this layer so this is your drawing layer and this cannot be controlled through your part so i'll go to the part and i will unhide all the layers and for the time being i'll go to the setting layer status and i'll just change to yes so my link is broken now i can control all the entities directly from the drawing so this was the second way now let's talk about the third way since we have already broken the link between part layer and drawing layer so we can control the entire drawing with these drawing layers now i can use these layers to hide any entities or to unhide any entities that means the entire view available in this drawing is linked with these drawing layers so i can any time hide or any time unhide these entities from drawing layers now to explain the third way let us rename layer 2 to, to dimension now i'll add all the dimensions available in this drawing to this layer now these dimensions i can hide using dimension layer or i can unhide using dimension layer so these all layers when i hide everything is gone if i unhide everything came back that means the entire view of this drawing layer is linked with these drawing layers now the third way is you can control these individual views through these drawing layers and for that first you click on this arrow this is called active layer object selection and then you select any one of these views the moment you click this view you get that view name here now if you do any changes in this layer like if i hide dimension the dimensions only for this particular view will go rest of all other dimensions are still there if i hide the datum plane the datum plane only for this particular view will go if i hide coordinate system coordinate system only for this view will go so now the link of this particular view is broken from the drawing so you can manage all the layers individually for this particular view
and if you want to restore the link for this particular view to this drawing then go to the drawing dependent and say yes the moment you say yes the link will be again restored for this particular view now everything will work the way it was working earlier once again we'll try we'll select this and this time i'll select this view and here also i'll try to hide the dimension or i'll try to hide everything so everything is gone once again i'll restore this first you need to select this view if it is not listed here so first select this view and then go to drawing dependent and say yes the link is again restored so this was the third way to control layers for individual views so i can go with directly from this list if i know which view i am going to control or otherwise i can go with this arrow and select the correct view so now you just saw that the drawing dependent and the drawing layer status these two options are very helpful options for drawing layer management so if you see this list you will find that we have number of views listed here so these four views are these four views isometric front side top here other than this we have two other name listed here so this c cap dot draw this is the top model this acts to the entire drawing so if i hide this now you can see that it controls the entire drawing so this top model controls the entire drawing now what is this option the next option c cap dot prt it says that it is a active model it means this model is active model sometime in a single drawing you may have multiple models for example i will just insert a new model to the same drawing i'll go to layout drawing models add models and i'll select lock plate and i'll say open go to set model and say okay now i'll insert that model here so now i have two different models in the same drawing one model is this and one model is this so now if you go to this list you can see that the active model is the lock plate model i will select this and if i do anything here it will only work for this lock plate view so if you want to change the active model you can change from here you can go to c cap now you can select this as a active model so now you can see that you have c cap part as active model so now whatever you do it will work for c cap so your active model got changed so this is how you can shuffle from one active model to another active model so let's delete this view i don't need this and now i'll change my active model i will delete the lock plate and i'll say yes so now my active model is changed so now i have c cap as active model and this is my top model so whatever i do here it will be applied to the entire drawing so now you understood the top model and the active model now let's talk about the cosmetic sketch so suppose i want to hide the cosmetic sketch from this view then in that case the easiest way is you go to your view list select the particular view right click and say erase cosmetic your cosmetic sketch is gone you select the view right click and say erase cosmetic the cosmetic sketch for that particular view will be erased right click and unerase the cosmetic sketch the cosmetic sketch will be back right click unerase and it is back to the view so this is the easiest way to erase or unerase cosmetic sketch from any of the view but in case if you have multiple cosmetic sketch in the same view and you want to erase any particular cosmetic sketch from the view other cosmetic sketch you want to keep as it is then in that case this method will not be helpful so in such cases the third way is very helpful so let's try that and for that first i'll create one new layer which i'll name cosmetic sketch cs 
and I will select the first cosmetic sketch. Now the layer is created. Now I will go with active layer object selection and I will select this view. Once this view is selected through active layer object selection, the link of this view is broken from this drawing. Now I can control this view individually. So I will go with this CS and I will hide it. So now you can see that this particular cosmetic sketch is gone and rest of the cosmetic sketch is still there. Now this layer is for all the views in the drawing. So wherever this cosmetic sketch is there, I can use this layer to erase or unerase this cosmetic sketch. So using active layer object selection, I can select this view and I will hide it. Again, if you relink this view to the drawing, then everything will come back. So this is how you manage drawing layers, part layers and individual view layers. And this is helpful for different items like dimensions, symbols, nodes, draft entities, cosmetic sketch, curves and many more items. Now the next thing is active layer object selection missing views. But before that, let's have a small break. And meanwhile, you can like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. And for this, I'll open one more drawing. So in some cases, when you go to this list, you won't find any view name other than these two names. So suppose if I want to manage this view separately, then I must have this view name in this list, which I'm not getting here. So in such cases, you can go to settings, drawing layer status, and here you can change from no to yes and say okay. Now once it is done, if you click here, you will get all the view listed here. So if you select this view, you will get the view name listed here. But still sometime when we open the old drawings from earlier release, we don't get this view name listed here. So in that case, the easiest way to get these names in that list is you create a dummy view outside your drawing and immediately delete it. Once it is done, if you go here, you will see all the views name listed here. Now the last thing is save status. So whatever layer management you have done in your part or in your drawing, you must save the layer status before you close the file. Otherwise, if you reopen the file, your layer status will not be stored and you will be doing the same work again and again. And to do this, go to layers, right click and say save status. Now if you save and close the file and you reopen, you will get the same layer status which was saved earlier. So this was the complete idea about drawing layer management and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can write your comments in comment section below and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates.